Fuck, dude, I'm so mad. Literally nothing worked out about this special. Not a, not a single fucking thing worked out about any of this. Okay, so I was gonna have this whole Halloween extravaganza. I was gonna come in, it was gonna be like a fucking smoke machine, right? And I was gonna be dressed as Baby Driver. I had these glasses, too. I look just fucking like him. But so I was waiting for the jacket, and I got the, I got the earbuds, I got the jeans, I got the shoes, I was all set, right? But I just had to wait for the coat. This shit, baby driver, varsity, bomber jacket, that's all I needed. All that needed to happen was for this to be delivered, and we all would have been fine. We would have had a nice, fun Halloween special I could have filmed on a Wednesday night. This video would have been out sooner. But this jackass the, the thing didn't come. So all my plans to do like an awesome baby driver, I come and dress like baby driver down the fucking toilet now. So I, I'm just gonna be dressed like this the whole fucking video. Then there's my goddamn smoke machine. Shocker, I left it at home because I forgot I was gonna do this. So I was just gonna use my roommate's vape, cause why not, right? Where is it? Where is it? Now he's fucking asleep, so I can't use his vape. I tried to go into his room, I was literally, I was gonna make a whole thing of it too, like, oh, this'll be funny, I'll sneak into his room and steal his vape. But then I had to go to the bathroom, right? And right now I was going to the bathroom, so, let me take you to the bathroom now. And right here was a nice, really nice wooden comb that he owned. So I took my, I did my business here, right? I got up, I swung my arm this way. As, I, as the toilet was flushing, his fucking comb falls right into the toilet. His really nice wooden comb falls right into the toilet and just, it's gone. It's gone. I dug my hand in there to try to get it. It's, it's gone forever. I, I can't steal this kid's fucking vape on top of it. His, I literally flushed his fucking nice wooden comb down the toilet. And on top of it, I'm going to steal his vape. So the whole Halloween special is just kaput. God, no smoke machine, no even me vaping, like, to make a cool smoke effect, I'm gonna have to fucking add it in digitally. I look like shit, no baby driver jacket, everything's fucked, I don't even know what movie I'm reviewing. I was going like, maybe I'll make it up as I go along, by the time I have my baby driver jacket, I'll be fine, right? But no, and it's mid-October, and I don't know what I'm doing. So let's just watch a bunch of shit, alright? Here's your wardrobe. Happy Halloween! Hi, Ralph the Movie Maker. Hey, Macon. How, how are you doing, man? I'm okay. Well, it's nice to meet you, finally. Over the internet. Macon is one of my fans. He's a little, he's a little mentally... Well, mentally what? Mentally special. He's a very mentally special oh. person. Well, no one's called me special before. Thank you. And I owe, I owe, I owe his mom a favor. So, Macon, what's up? How you doing, buddy? Oh, I I'm great. As long as you're doing okay, though, that's all that matters. No, you're really, you're really well spoken for a retarded person. What? So what Macon's gonna do, everybody, is he's gonna recommend some films for us to watch. That's right. I got a whole list for you. I mean, who would have thought one of my mentally challenged fans would recommend movies to me all the time? All right. Well, first off, we have another Stacy title film. Uh, Snoop Dogg's House of Horror. Oh, Stacy Title, go back to her. Nah, I'm good, thanks. Smiley. Well, we also have uh, Smiley starring Shane Dawson. You called Smiley and he came. Something's been awakened, like something's been born. Oh, get Shane Dawson away from me. Can we stop with Shane Dawson? Well, my third movie's on the list. It's this movie on Netflix, actually. It's called Hashtag Horror. Hashtag Horror. Okay, let's do that. It's on Netflix. It's relevant, right? I mean, it has a shitty name, Hashtag Horror. Like, that's great. Hashtag Horror? Hashtag Horror. Hashtag Horror? Hashtag Horror. Thank you, Macon. Well, no, no problem, dude. I appreciate the- If this movie doesn't work out, I got a movie in my back pocket that I'm actually very excited to share with you all. Um, another meme-worthy film. Not really a horror movie, though, so that's why I'm keeping it in my back pocket. But, you know, who knows, maybe hashtag horror will be great. I'm sure you can tell by the title of the video what movie we end up 
you know, spending the most time on. Well, there you go. This should be quick then. Great logo. Was that Comic Sans? I mean, that's good use of color, right? Like this really white background and lots of snow. Certainly better than the opening of the Bye Bye Man. I don't know why she's dressed like a member of the Mafia in the 1950s, but uh, it's whatever, it's a minor thing. I'm just excited to get to LA for a dirty weekend. Oh. It's a dirty weekend, is that a Brit expression? Oh my god, it's her! Is it Chloe Sav Savinga? Chloe Savinga? But she's like a real actress. Now she's in this? She's in hashtag horror? Bro, oh, what? What? What the fuck? What? 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 Oh my god. Oh, Jesus, what? What? like the opening of Enter the Void, which is a great movie, a great opening. I think the movie's falling apart. Like, they really cared about those opening shots. Like, they look good. I give credit to the DP. But this, now it looks like shit. It's all yours. You're free to go barf now. What do I look like? You always run the faucet. Now, do you prefer I don't run the faucet so everyone can hear me taking a dump? As if this movie wasn't bad enough, we have to rely on incredible child actors. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Here we go again. No. Director, I'm gonna reinvent how the internet appears in our films. So much style I have. This is like made by a freshman in film college. It has to be. I don't think any filmmaker ever is stupid enough to make a movie like this. I mean, I would like to know what this movie is about, but like, I can't even focus on it because it keeps doing these crazy, like, these crazy montages of a bunch of shit. Hashtag dead girl. Get that trending on Twitter, everyone. Hashtag dead girl. Look at that CGI snow, too. Man, they really just gave up after that opening scene. Hashtag not caring about my film at all. The tragedy is now online for the world to see. The horrific images were splashed across social media. The images were followed and liked by millions of people who stood by and did nothing. Who would like this on any social media site? This would get taken down, first of all, and then the government would track it. I don't know, is this a comment on internet fame? Because this is stupid. This is clearly made by people who do not understand the internet at all. Who would view and share and like that? It's a video of a kid being murdered. Yo, did you see this awesome video of this girl being murdered? Here it is. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel too. If millions of people did watch that, then there would be a lot more killing of children going on. To get a million views, I'd kill a kid. 
Why not? Why is this edited like this? And I'll have the best avatar with the most likes, and I'll have the top score, and I'll be the top player. And I'll be remembered forever. <laughs> Why? Now my camera's almost out of battery. Hold on. As if enough wasn't going wrong. Alright. Finally got the charger right here. Just gotta plug it. Oh. It died. Well, we'll be right back. Alright, let's watch The Covenant. So The Covenant is an excellent film by Rennie Harlan. Great director, he's made loads of classics like um, The Legend of Hercules. Remember that movie? 12 Rounds, Exorcist the Beginning. He did A Nightmare on Elm Street 4 and The Adventures of Ford Fairlane, which is no joke, probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And now I'm on top of the Capitol Records building. So much for climbing down the fire escape shit. Johnny and Colleen were lucky to beat that barking together in that big chuck wagon in the sky. At least they know who the fuck Art Mooney was. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> You're doing great, Rennie. Keep it up. But now I think I think the pinnacle, the crowning achievement of his career is The Covenant. It's, it's like Twilight if the acting was worse, the love story was worse, everything was worse. And on top of it, it has that early 2000s edginess factor, like we have to be like Fight Club, that kind of thing. Who the hell's knocking on my door? Hi, it's me, Megan. Why are you in my apartment? Well, I, I just tracked your IP and, you know, led me here. Why? I just really wanted to meet you. I, I look up to you. I look up to the way you talk about movies on the internet really inspires me. Okay. A and I also I got you a package. I had to steal it. What's the package? Dude, I'm so happy right now. Happier than a pedophile in a daycare, let me tell you. And it's all thanks to this nice fan over here who will be keeping us company. Yeah, you're a cool guy. Obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear all this shit for the whole review, that'd be annoying. We even got the original iPod. Look at this piece of shit. So let's start the Covenant. Oh yeah, this is so edgy. Are you feeling the edge, Macon? Oh yeah, I'm feeling the edge. <laughs> I'm feeling the fucking edge. Sure they could have played some, you know, mystical music, get you in the mood for this fairy tale adventure, you know? But no, fuck that. Let's play some. <laughs> this is the kind of music I bang my sister to, dude. High five, yeah, let's go. Let's go. You know what we need to play right now? What have I been playing so far? A bunch of stuff for pussies. That's been the music so far. The, the Alabama Shakes. We're gonna put on that hardcore shit now. Ever hear the band Anal Cunt? <laughs> Now that's some edgy shit, anal cunt. They have such hits as, I went back in time and voted for Hitler. Ha ha holocaust. All our fans are gay. Fred shit breath. You quit doing heroin, you pussy. <laughs> I'm glad you got breast cancer, cunt. Hitler was a sensitive man. All right, let's play a little if Hitler was a sensitive man. How about a little of I'm gonna give you AIDS? Yeah, this is something we can jam out to while we're reviewing this movie. Where were you? Stop by to give you a lift. Had things to do? How's the party? Don't know. Just got here. Oh my god, it's Taylor Kitsch! Remember him? He was in 
bunch of hits. Uh, John Carter, uh, Battleship, uh, True Detective. True Detective, oh no, that's season two of True Detective. To be fair, Taylor Kitsch did not ruin season two of True Detective. We can blame that on Vince Vaughn, but he's great in this movie. Come on, Caleb. It's not like it's gonna kill us. Yet. <laughs> Whoa! Who's that? New guy. Ooh, he's looking over. It's Winter Soldier! Oh my god. Look at the baby face Winter Soldier. Don't you just love the color palette of this movie too? Really like crushed blacks and they brought up the highlights a lot and everything's blue. Doesn't it just look pretty? No. What, it looks like an eyesore? Oh, you clearly know nothing about cinematography then. I mean, it really fits the tone of this movie to have an ugly looking, disgusting blue and yellow mess. Holy shit, they're going over. Harry Potter can kiss my I like that line too, because it acknowledges the fact that this is kind of a Harry Potter clone, but it's edgier. Uh, the guy still just called. He said he saw three cop cars heading this way on Old Dell Road. Shit, dude. Cops are in the party, man. We gotta get the fuck out of here, man. This ain't your little brother's fantasy film. This is for teenagers, dude. We drink beer. We go out with hot chicks. We get in poorly shot car chases. That makes no sense. Then this girl takes a shower and she sees some kind of ghosts or something. I think that's what happens. And then she calls in some boy to look at it. Oh my god. Didn't mean to scare you. Then we get more of Taylor Kitsch acting as well as the discount Taylor Lautner. Yeah, I just saw the same Darkling you saw last night. That dead kid at the Dells. What the hell is it? I don't know. Freak me out. I'm telling you, someone's using powers, and I mean big time. And this is gonna be something you start to notice too is um, there's a lot of sweaty guys in this movie. Caleb, pick up the phone, man. Caleb. There's a lot of sweaty guys. I intend to find out who. Or shirtless guys. So you swim mean freestyle. That's what they tell me. Or guys in showers, or naked guys, or sweaty shirtless naked guys in showers. There's a lot of that in this movie. And I'm, again, not much of a complaint, but much like Alien Covenant, THE Covenant, maybe it's just any movie with Covenant in the title, is a, it's a little homoerotic, you know? Not a bad thing, necessarily. It's just a thing. So these sexy young men and women have more bad dialogue about a bunch of nonsense. Hey, we're gonna go into town tomorrow for some things. Do you need to pick up any stuff? Sure. I'm in 311. Investigate 311. Are you guys ready for the best part of the movie? I'm just gonna let it play out. I'm telling you, just. Jeez! Dude, major edge. So the discount Taylor Lautner goes to visit his, I think it's his father, who's like 2,000 years old or something, because he's all wrinkled up or something. I don't I don't know what the hell's going on. But yeah, we gotta get into more scenes of just edgy guys, you know. How long you guys been here? A bit. Just been playing yeah. Aaron and Bordy, and would you look at that. Blue. Cotton. Mmm. Pink. Lace. Boys. 
That girl hasn't worn panties since she was 12. <laughs> and when all these guys, I, I don't know what they are, I think they're witches, I think. Don't quote me on that, I think that's... But when a bunch of witches or whatever, guys with magic, get in a bar fight, it's gonna be some edgy shit. Why'd you quit being such a pussy? I'm not finished with you, yes. <clears throat> What will it take for you to get it? It's addictive, you moron! But if you use it in the open like it did tonight, you risk exposing us all. And that I won't let happen. My power's greater than yours. Not until you ascend. Alright, go for it, tough guy. So, so let's go through everything wrong with that scene. Okay, it was shot horribly, the effects sucked, the acting was bad, the dialogue was bad, it wasn't compelling at all, because there was no stakes or tension throughout the entire thing. And above all that, you don't really get what their powers are through the entire movie. The entire movie? Because they never really establish what they can do, or how their powers really work. They can just kind of do whatever, and sometimes they could blow girls' skirts up, and sometimes they could, like go off a cliff and then appear behind like there's just there's no rhyme or reason to any of it it's just edgy kids being edgy so they can go out with girls and so that uh 13 year old virgins in the audience can feel masculine i feel like they're a man and that they're worth something so so then they'll give hollywood their money and a bunch of shallow pathetic teenage girls will go see it and see a bunch of hot guys and not care that the movie is fucking horrible and that it's misogynist as hell and they all treat women like they're piece of shit objects but they don't care because we got discount Taylor Lautner and there's lots of sweaty guys doing stuff a lot a lot of sweaty guys in bed there's a lot of scenes of this sweaty guy in bed and it's weird but all this means nothing because in the end what this film really is is a love story a love story between a witch or whatever who's just trying to find his way in the world you know We've all been there. And there's this cute girl you like, you know, and you're not sure if she likes you. But she might. And she might see you for what you really are, because everyone else just sees you, they label you. You're a witch. You're a hunter. You're whatever, whatever you're supposed to be. But in the end, you're your own person. And even if no one else sees that, she can see that. Maybe all that matters is the chemistry between Discount Taylor Lautner and Dumb Blonde Bimbo number 87. Let's see. Thanks for dinner. How about Saturday? What about Saturday? It's a fall fest. Oh, fall fest. Just wondering if you wanted to go with me. <laughs> and also, it happens to be my birthday. Hmm. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Oh my god! Thanks again for a great day. I had fun. Yeah. Yeah, me too. This movie's not edgy enough right now. We need to play some more anal cunt. Okay, what's this one called? Yeah, this is a really edgy one. Beating up... Uh, that cell fake crack. Alright. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Literally the only audible word in the entire song is the N-word. Then the movie becomes a horror movie? This is a big pet peeve of mine in movies. Thunder and lightning never come at the same time. Light travels faster than sound? So lightning always comes before thunder. But yet I've never ever ever seen a movie that follows this rule, and it just really annoys me. If any movie does this from now on, I'm instantly gonna give it like five points. So like, you can make a four out of 10 movie, but if the lightning and thunder aren't in sync, you know what? You're breaking new ground in, in movies. I don't know where the hell this school is either. I don't know what this is supposed to be. It looks like, it looks like a haunted mansion. 
Who would go here? It's always raining, there's always thunder, and there's always fog, which looks like a smoke machine set off to the side, away from the camera. There's like spiders now that just crawl in people's skin. Doesn't mean anything, I don't know, I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be. <laughs> then we get shirtless guys swimming in a pool set to rock music. Wow, that's really edgy. I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk. What are you looking at, fag? I think between your legs, it's like a penis, only smaller. Hey, let him go, Aaron. Don't be so sensitive, Aaron. Size isn't everything. What is this scene? Just what is it? My man. Haha, <laughs> for some foosball. I have dinner with Sarah later, but I think I can hang out for a while. What about you? No, man, I'm cool. Good, good, got, got it, great, good. So they do more things and they have to break into this building for some reason, I don't know why. And they're floating now. That's another power they just told us about right now, because it's convenient. The thing is, with fantasy, you can have all these, you know, rules, like, Harry Potter is a great example. There's all these magical things that they can do, but they have rules that they establish. To turn invisible, you need a cloak of invisibility. To fly, you need a mop or a broom or something. Not a mop. <laughs> you, they set these guidelines, you know, so that you understand what's happening even though things are a little ridiculous. And this is just like, we'll do whatever. Then dumb blonde bimbo's roommate, dumb brunette bimbo, gets into the hospital. And as if it wasn't obvious enough what happened to her, since, you know, there's all these bites from spiders on her, which clearly calls back to that scene early in the movie. It's as if she'd been bitten by hundreds of insects. Like spiders. Do you get it? It was spider bites. It's almost as if a thousand insects bit her. That's crazy, right? Do, do you want us to flash back to that scene from earlier where the spiders bit her? Do you remember that information or were you too busy looking down at your phones? Oh yeah, they didn't have cell phones back in 2006, right? And if they did, they were probably like big blocks. Were, were you staring down at your leapster? So we have more exposition by horrible actors. She claims that John Putnam came to her as an incubus in her dreams. And Taylor Kitsch drives a motorcycle into Winter Soldier. A spider came and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Whoa. Dumb Taylor Lautner and Blonde Bimbo 87 talk in a room, and they have another horrible scene where they have no chemistry because they can't act. And then she opens the door to find that the, the Taylor Lautner guy is actually not there. That's Winter Soldier. And Winter Soldier disguised himself to look like dumb Taylor Lautner uh, look-alike so that he can make dumb Blonde Bimbo 87 fall asleep. Oh, what is this, not interesting? Okay, well, let me sum it up briefly then. So Winter Soldier, right, is a bad guy. And his friend, the Taylor Lautner lookalike, is ascending. And ascending means on your 18th birthday, you go from having kind of good powers to having really powerful powers. So Winter Soldier wants to take Discount Taylor Lautner's powers on his 18th birthday while he's ascending. Tomorrow night, birthday boy. The exact moment when you ascend. Be it Putnam Barn. And if he does not get his powers, he will kill the blonde bimbo. Does that make sense? So this builds up to the big climactic action scene, which is one of the worst in cinema history, let me tell you. I like taking candy from a baby.
Discount Taylor Lautner ascends at that very moment, and they just fight. It, it's it's hilariously bad. I'm at a loss for words, honestly. The thing is, though, Discount Taylor Lautner loses. Say the words, and it's all over. He loses most of the battle. Until... Remember the wrinkly old man from earlier, who I think is his father? Well, uh, Discount Taylor Lautner's mother just goes to him and says... Can you please kill yourself and give your son all the power? I think that's what she says. Listen to me, William. I need you to understand me. And then this happens. And now Discount Taylor Lautner has all these amazing powers and he can just beat the villain. So why is this boring? Let's talk about this as if it's a real movie for a second. Uh, in, a, in a story, our hero needs to earn something. He needs to earn his powers. Harry Potter earns his powers. Luke Skywalker earns the Force. It isn't just given to him. He has to work for it over three movies. Discount Taylor Lautner doesn't earn anything in this movie. He doesn't earn his girlfriend's respect. He doesn't earn his friend's respect. He doesn't earn his parents' respect. He doesn't learn anything. He doesn't gain any skills through hard work and practice. Everything is just given to him. And on top of that, he's a terrible actor. And this is ultimately why this movie is so horrible. And yet our hero gets everything at the end of the day. He repairs his windshield. And that's the end of the movie, and we go out with rock music. An absolutely horrendous movie, but still entertaining. So if you want a so bad it's good movie to watch this Halloween, The Covenant might just do the trick. Every scene in this movie is so bad, and stupid, and horribly written and acted. So even though this Halloween special started out like a shit show, it actually worked itself out. So uh, thanks to Macon for bringing me this awesome coat. And we're going to sign out right here. Actually, Ralph, I was thinking, you know, maybe I could step in and review a movie with you. Um, yeah? Yeah, I've, I've got tons of movies I want to talk about. I've got a whole list of them. All right, well, here's the thing, Nathan. I, I respect you as a person, right? And I appreciate you being a fan and all. But we're not friends. You understand? I'm not, I don't like you. I don't think you're interesting enough to be on camera. Mm-hmm. Like, I appreciate you bringing the jacket to me, but that doesn't give you the right to be part of my videos. Yeah, I get it. I'm glad you enjoy my content, and I enjoy you as well as my other fans, you know? Not all of them, obviously. Some of them just post a bunch of bullshit, and I can't stand them, but, you know, most of them are good, like yourself. But just because you like my stuff doesn't mean I have to be friends with you. Like, you just came here not to be nice, but just hoping that I would include you in my video. And that we could be friends. I'm a little sad. <laughs> well, don't be sad, Macon. It's not like you're a bad person or anything. It's just, you know, what do you want from me? <laughs> I just want you to love me. <laughs> this was going so well, and now just someone- this- this review is gonna end with some fucking retarded guy crying in my bedroom. You know what? It doesn't matter now. Because you know what? I'm ascending. You're what? <laughs>